Anyway, what is a bird? Um, when I was uh, thinking about this lesson, uh, I was still on campus and I was thinking about uh, just going around to the shack and asking uh, students that are sitting there eating lunch to name a few traits that birds have that other animals don't. Um, well, I'm not in the shack. Uh, this class is online. Actually, the campus is shut down right now because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, so um, can't do that part. So I'm just going to have to guess what people would say. So your people, why don't you think for just a moment good identifying characters of birds Okay, so if I were to guess what you were going to guess, I bet one of you out there probably said that birds have feathers. And uh, you're absolutely right. Feathers are what make a bird. Um, no other animals have feathers. Feathers are unique. So uh, feathers are, are lightweight. They're good for insulation. That's probably why they evolved in the ancestors of, the, of our, our birds. Um, and then later on, uh, they became quite useful in flight. And flight is probably another thing that you wrote down uh, as to what makes a bird a bird. But mm, think about that. Uh, yeah, there are other kinds of animals that fly. There's insects, there's bats, uh, and then uh, and none of those are birds, of course. And then, of course, there are some birds that have wings, but they don't fly at all. Take your penguins or your ostrich or something like that. So flight isn't um, the, the best distinguishing characteristic of birds because there's exceptions. Maybe some of you were thinking about bird eggs. Uh, after all, birds lay eggs. Um, there are very few mammal species that lay eggs. Only the platypus comes to mind. Uh, and then, um, you know, thinking about other things that might lay eggs. Well, hmm, insects lay eggs. You got the reptile. Some of them lay eggs, the amphibians. So egg laying by itself, not a characteristic of birds. Um, that's unique to that group. Um, but nevertheless, the bird egg is certainly unique to birds in that it's got a hardened shell. Uh, it is very large compared to the body of the bird. It's, um, the, the bird egg is one of the largest cells uh, uh, across all of biological diversity. Um, and uh, incubation. The birds will sit on the egg and, um, and keep it with body temperature, keep it warm and developing. Um, and very few other animals uh, will do it that way. So, what else? Um, it's not just those three things that people probably would come up with. How about the bird's beak? Beak or bill, uh, those are interchangeable nouns. Um, and the, the bill is actually quite unique to birds with just an exception or two. For instance, I already mentioned the platypus. The platypus has a beak. Platypus is a type of mammal. Um, it's just plain weird, uh, but, um, but nearly everything else that has a beak would be a bird. Birds don't have teeth. Um, the prehistoric birds did, so it seems like maybe uh, that was a trait that birds got rid of. Uh, as they developed flight, because if you're going to fly around, you um, don't want to be too heavy, and uh, a big, muscular, and, and strong, bony mouth full of teeth uh, is too heavy. So birds have no teeth, but yet birds have to grind up the food, just like you and I do. So lacking teeth, birds then have a unique digestive structure called the gizzard, um, we'll learn about the gizzard when we go into bird digestion, um, but for now it is uh, an organ that comes before the stomach that uh, grinds up the food mechanically, just like a stomach would, um, except that uh, it's going to have an even rougher surface on the inside. Birds sometimes swallow stones and pebbles and, and sand uh, to help them grind up the food that they ingest. There are a few other traits uh, that also probably co-evolved with the flying behavior. Uh, and so that would be 
fused hand bones. They, uh, they have three uh, fingers and they tend to not be so long and they're fused together. We'll cover that in the um, skeleton of the bird later in the class. All right, so if you're gonna have these modified feathers and modified hand structures, that means you really can only use those for flying and nothing else. So another thing that makes a bird a bird is bipedalism, walking around on two feet. Uh, but then those species that uh, fly around and perch on trees, uh, they actually need to be able to grab onto the tree limbs. Uh, and to do that, um, rather than having an opposable thumb like I do, uh, they have two toes that go this direction and two toes that go that direction so that uh, they don't really have opposable thumbs, but they have opposable toes that help them grab the surface that they're, uh, they're sitting on. So among some other traits that birds have that helps us identify or distinguish a bird from other kinds of animals, birds have um, very uh, advanced and unique lungs, uh, and the way that the air passes in and out of the bird's body is quite unique. Uh, we will learn that uh, when we get into the anatomy of the bird. Um, we'll also learn about birds' hollow bones. Um, in fact, that might be something that, that you came up with on your own. Um, for a long time, I didn't understand what hollow bones of a bird meant because I also knew that uh, mammals, for instance, have hollow, bo have, have hollow bones. Our leg bones, our arm bones, they have uh, hollow sections in them. Um, but our, our hollow bones uh, are filled with bone marrow. Uh, could be red bone marrow or yellow bone marrow, but, uh, but still it's filled with fluid and cells uh, that help us um, make blood cells and store fat and things like that. A bird also has these hollow sections of bone, but the bones uh, are not filled with marrow, uh, not, um, not all the way. Uh, there are areas that are filled with air, and so the birds do have hollow bones, and they're filled with air, and they're linked up to the bird's respiratory tract. Uh, sort, of like, uh, sort of like the fact, I don't know if you know this, but you know, when we breathe in air through our nose, uh, there are uh, air cavities in our sinuses, and that's what gets all, you know, clo clogged up when we're sick. Um, and uh, so a bird, if you will, has sinuses all throughout its body. Hopefully they don't get, you know, terrible sinus headaches, because that would be, uh, that would be pretty bad. Two more things on my list. One is extreme measures of parental care. I mentioned already the incubation that birds have with their eggs, and that uh, continues into um, after the eggs hatch, both male and female tend to care for the young. Uh, they will uh, sit on the young to keep them warm. They will sit on the young um, to protect them from predators, uh, and they, will, of course, will feed the young. And the young are very needy, very hungry, and they make lots of sound when they do that. And so lastly, speaking of sound, a bird's uh, vocal structure, it's called a syrinx, uh, and that is unique to birds. Um, it is uh, what gives them a, a very grand ability to make a, a wide amount of sound. Um, they can actually uh, sing two different parts of a song at the same time because of the structure of their syrinx. And I'll get into that when we talk about bird anatomy. So uh, that is a, a list of unique bird traits. And um, I hope I've tempted you and you've made you a little more curious to learn about them in the, in the next couple lectures.